What's the end of that one? 21. Here we go. It is on Saturday afternoon, the Northeast 10 championship game. Uh, UMass Lowell and Stonehill, the numbers three and four seeds. Uh, they are the third seed. They are the home team. We are joined now by the head coach of the River Hawks, Greg Horenda, and, and coach. Uh, it's nice to be playing championship games at this time of the year. Yeah, it really is. It's March. I think today's March 2nd, and, you know, to be in a championship game in this conference is a uh, is a privilege and, a, and an honor, and uh, I think our guys will be ready. I think our fans will be ready. We're bringing uh, a bus uh, down to Easton, and uh, it's going to be exciting, and, and our, our guys deserve this opportunity. They went this past week up to Franklin Pierce in the snow, the number one seed, their building, their gym, and turned in a terrific defensive performance, turned in a gritty performance, and hit key baskets when they had to. It appears to be the type of team that simply rises to the occasion. Is that a fair assessment? I would say so. I, I would like to think the, uh, the occasion of practice is a big occasion, and, and we practice hard every day in practice. You know, So um, games, um, every game is huge. And, and now uh, as we get closer uh, to the championship game, um, we have a, a situation where this is going to be a big, big game. And... Um, I, I think these kids understand that. I think this year when we went down to Providence, the first exhibition game we played in the Dunkin' Donuts Center, they understood the the, uh, the volume of the game. So these guys are um, are, are players that, that do rise to the occasion, Bob, and, and, and they've answered the bell. We were in, in a bad state uh, about two, three weeks ago, and now we're in a good state, and we had a a little saying on the wall that we, we said, you know, if you change, the world changes. And we needed to change the way we were playing. And we just played a little bit, we're playing a little bit better defense. We're taking care of the ball. And to be quite honestly, we're just playing at that next gear. And that's that's what you need to have. And my guys have it right now. But obviously Stonehill's playing at that next level as well. So that's why I think Saturday will be a great championship game. I guess you've kind of answered the question I would ask. What's the difference now? as opposed to two weeks ago when we weren't playing well. First words that you said in the, answering the last question was defense. Is defense the key? Is that what it's all about? Is that the difference? I think it, it is. It always is. But then there's that X factor when you just take everything to the next level, know that you know, when you lose, you're gone, and there, there, are, there, are, you know, there are consequences to your actions. You know, that's when my guys you know, really get after it. And... Uh, we have here for the last four years. You know, we've been in, we've won championships, been to semifinals, been to championship games, and uh, generally we do well in those atmospheres. So it's going to be a fun, exciting day. And uh, but we got to come there and, and and do work and and defend and guard and 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 run good offense because Stonehill, without a doubt, is the best defensive team in the league and uh, they really defend well and uh, when I first got here we had a lot of success against Stonehill and you know lately Stonehill is having success against us so it's a great rivalry within the conference and uh, it will be a, a test of two teams and whoever wants it more and, and the players that make the plays at the end of the game or in the beginning of the game whatever that crucial moment we all know uh, exists in championship games whatever team makes that play is uh, probably going to prevail. Stonehill's the number three seed, we're the number four seed. They're 20 and 8, we're 19 and 9. Not a big difference. But yet we've played them twice, once in their building, once in ours, and the results have found Stonehill a winner each time. And I gotta tell you, at least looking at the final score, neither game appears to have been close. Is is it just for this Riverhawk team not a good matchup? Or is it just, hey, some, some nights it doesn't work and those were the nights, but don't read anything uh, else into it? I think early we weren't playing well when we went to Stonehill and got beat, and then we were playing great and went to Stonehill and got beat. So, uh, you know, like I said in the, the previous question, early in my career we were very, very successful against Stonehill. Now the scale is kind of tipped in their favor, but I, I think on Saturday it's, you know, it's Saturday. It's zero zero, and they're playing well, and we're playing well. So I think Saturday will be the best judge of who's the better team. But, but they're very, very good, and I've got a lot of respect for Dave and, and their program. But I've got a lot of respect for for my staff and my program, and I think it's going to be a good battle. I think it's close. We're, we're going to have fans getting down to Eastern, and I, I know they're going to pack the place. And and I think right now you're you're, you're dealing with. Uh, 
championship play, and, 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 and whoever deserves the championship will get it on Saturday. I hope, uh, you know, we get it. Stonehill hopes they get it, and that's why, you know, March is, March is mad. Does it come down to one thing? Does it come down to the inside game? Does it come down to outside game? Does it come down to defense? Does it come down to heart? Is there one thing? And, and I know coaches yeah. love to, to tell me a lot of things, but there, is there one thing that will be pivotal in this game? You know, everyone in this game is going to play with effort, championship effort. We talk about championship heart. I think it's going to come down to championship execution. Can you execute the play when you need to make the play? Because they're going to play very hard. We're going to play hard. So those two factors are going to negate each other. And, and we need players to make plays. And hopefully the coaches, especially this coach, stays out of the way and lets the, puts the guys in a good position so they can make plays. You know, we'd like to run more. It's obvious. We like to get up and down the floor, and they like to try to control the game in, in a half-court set. So it's a great contrast of styles of two programs that have been, you know, very successful in this in this conference. But, uh, you know, which style is going to win and who's going to win the game, uh, that's probably been determined. I always tell my guys, you know, what you do from August to March kind of dictates not what you do right on March 3rd at, at 1 o'clock. And I, I think we've worked our tails off, and I know Stonehill has as well. So uh, um, it could come down to the execution of an out-of-bounds play or a, a switch on defense or a box out. And the little things make uh, the great things happen, and hopefully uh, we do all the little things to, to secure the championship. This team has won a championship. Northeast 10 title a couple of years back. Now, a lot of the personnel's changed, but some of it is the same. Does that make a difference that you've got a couple of people that have been through this, that were part of that? I think Scotty was there. I think uh, Robbie Walton was there. And there uh, Matt maybe Welch, a, yeah, I was going to say a couple John of others. John Corbaccio. Uh, Does that make a difference? Absolutely. I think just being there and having, you know, that game was on our floor. It was at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And, and you know, it was only two years ago. It seems like a long time ago. But but I, I think it does. Experience is, is crucial. Now, we have a lot of guys on our team that haven't had a championship, and and uh, I think that edge might you know side the River Hawks, but but you know I think on Saturday it's a game you know and, and no one's going to be thinking back, but but you might be able to draw upon you know what Mel, Matt Welch was in the basketball game. Scotty was terrific in our championship game uh, against Adelphi, and um, that that can't hurt you know winners uh, be, winning begets winning and. Uh, Hopefully we can draw upon that, but it's going to be what we do on Saturday at, at 1 o'clock that's going to determine who's the Northeast 10 champion. UMass Lowell Stonehill, Saturday, 1 o'clock, down in Easton, Massachusetts. Coach, good luck. Bob, thank you so much.